Okay, so Jessica, give me the lowdown on the modern contemporaries. What's like the 30 second elevator pitch? Sure. The Modern Contemporaries is a level of modern membership specifically designed and curated for, uh, we say, under 40 friends, young professionals. Uh, we design and tailor events specifically to what you know we think they might be interested in. Uh, we do up to six events per year for this group, though there are lots of ways to enjoy their membership here at the Modern with free programs and uh, discounts in the Modern Shop and the Modern Cafe. Um, yeah, uh, an individual Modern Contemporaries membership is 150, and a dual for two people is 175, and those are annual dues. They're not monthly, so it's a, we think it's a great value to really get immersed in the museum and and the programs and the work that's here. Sure. So, how and when did this get started? Well, the Modern Contemporaries specifically, we are celebrating the opening of our 15th season. The group was established in 2005 where we saw, you know, a need and a desire from younger people in the community to really get involved and engaged with the museum. Are you starting to see a renewed interest in this group? Is this something you guys are really starting to push more? I would say, you know, just generally speaking, it, certainly in the development department, you know, we're always looking for new ways to invigorate the membership at every level. Um, and, and with the modern contemporaries too, you know, this is, a, this is a level of membership that we look to, you know, to be future leaders and stewards of the museum. So um, yeah, I would say we're always very proactive about finding new members and in, inviting new members in to um, enjoy the museum. And so yeah, that's an ongoing, ongoing priority for sure. So I know experiences are a big part of this, and obviously the noted experiment, that's something that we're really big about. So tell me about some of the experiences that you guys have done that will be coming up for the Modern mm -hmm. Contemporaries. Lots of, there's a, some really, really exciting things coming up uh, this season. Some things to really look forward to. I would say, truly, some noteworthy events coming up. We're opening a Robin O'Neill exhibit uh, in October. Her work, is really special it's very interesting she's a around 40 years old celebrating a 20-year retrospective so if you can imagine she's been a successful artist her almost in her, her entire life uh, so we have robin o'neill coming up there is going to be around the time of the fort worth stock show and rodeo and a very immersive exhibit called ruckus rodeo it's very instagrammable uh, we'll do a special event surrounding that exhibit which will coincide with the stock show and then everybody is, I think, really excited. I'm personally sort of fangirling about a Mark Bradford show we're doing in the spring. Um, specifically with the contemporaries, of a great value this year that this group will receive is Cocktails with the Curator of Mark Bradford, is um, a senior curator. He's very renowned in the industry. His name's Michael Opping. And Michael is going to be with the contemporaries. He's going to walk them through Mark Bradford, explain to them how it came to be, um, and explain really on a deeper level the importance of that show. So that's that's a really special event that we'll have on hand this season for the contemporaries. And then kind of run me through the fall kickoff that we sure. went to because that was really great. And it was nice to meet you guys. I'm I'm so glad that you came and that you you had fun. The contemporaries kickoff we do it every year, and it is a membership campaign. It's, it's free and open to anybody that's 40 years or younger. Um, and what we did this year was a behind the scenes tour. You know, we wanted it to be about the museum. We have a beautiful, renowned building here. Um, so the kickoff is really a celebration of what you see on the walls, as well as the operations and the, and the, the way that things happen behind the scenes. So the kickoff was a lot of fun and, and taking groups, you know, down the freight elevator, you know, maybe up some undiscovered staircases um, and certainly out to the cause, the clean slate, which is a, that's a new acquisition within the last year. So just to kind of see all of these elements of the museum, the behind the scenes, where these things come from and how stuff happens was really exciting. 
So will there be any other experiences or opportunities for members that will have that behind the scenes component, whether it is walking in different areas that they wouldn't know about or understanding, like you said, curation, things of that nature? Absolutely. There is uh, a, a program that we offer, it's called Art 101, and it's it's something that we've redesigned and, and developed, and it's I, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Contemporaries members and all members with a membership will be able to enjoy Art 101 on November 13th. Uh, we have Tony from Installations, Brent from Curatorial, will be speaking to a smaller group about how exhibitions happen. And this is rare access really to, you know, some senior level staff members who have firsthand knowledge of where this work comes from. I mean, the work that's on our walls comes from all over the world. And Tony and Brent work together to make sure that it travels to and from the museum safely, that it's installed safely. Um, and so Art 101 is going to be a really unique opportunity to sit for one hour and listen to them speak to this. Um, and, and Tony and Brent are not, not terribly in front of the membership often, so this is a great opportunity for that. And then what about some of the drawing classes and things that if people want to actually get more involved in art itself, sure. you guys help with that too as well? Absolutely. You know, there's lots of content uh, here at the museum for every level of member to, membership to enjoy. Um, the There's drawing in the galleries and drawing from the galleries, which are, you know, sort of guided tours where you can go and draw, you know, things that are inspired by the work on the wall. Um, but yeah, all of that content, all of that educational content can be found. I mean, you can, you can truly just go to the website and look at the calendar because there's multiple things to enjoy every week. Um, the most important thing above all I would say is for, the, for us to ensure the building and the work is accessible. So Fridays are free and open till eight to anybody. Sundays are half price, you know? So there's, there's just, we want people to come see the work. We want them to see the art. So I know you mentioned the website is sure. a great place to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. What are some other ways that you know the audience can interact with you or figure out how to become a member of Modern Contemporaries or the museum sure. itself? Yeah, absolutely. Good question. Uh, we we have uh, social media accounts. The Modern itself has social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, you can also follow the Modern Shop and Cafe Modern. Um, and then I would say our website is a great resource. There's calendars. There's you know there's movies that matter. Um, there's all sorts of things that are comprehensively on the website. Um, I would say to the staff, you know, myself, I give out my direct line constantly. You know, we just we really like to engage with our members, and so if anybody has questions or is interested in membership, I would invite them to call or email me directly. I mean, we're happy to always happy to speak to the museum and how we can make it accessible for everybody. Well, thank you so much. It was so much fun to talk you. to you, to get involved with that fall kickoff. It was thank a you. great event. Thanks so much. And perfect timing. <laughs>